how can different approaches and different yoga can be useful tools to find liberation. There are four major yogas. Gnani Yoga, Yoga using the mind. Karma Yoga using the service. Bhakti Yoga using heart and devotion. And Raja Yoga for mastering the mind. Gnani Yoga is using the head. Not thinking, but introspection. And the process of Gnani Yoga is asking question, who am I? And going inside and finding the answer. So, if you try to go in this direction, you find so many things in the way which is not real. So, the process of negation. Negation start that I don't belong to any religion, I don't belong to any country, I don't belong to any sect, I don't possess anyone, I don't possess anything. Because all these things are changing and they are the label. I don't own my body because body is not permanent, it is changing. I don't own my mind. Mind doesn't exist. It's the waves. Waves are nothing but information presented and then another wave, another information. Information being processed. That is what we call mind. I'm not intellect. Intellect is the decision-making faculty. I'm not the emotion. Emotion is intense feeling coming from the mind. Then comes I'm consciousness. Consciousness is neutral, but I'm not that either. Who am I? Transcending them all, ultimate reality, I am. So coming to the level of I consciousness and transcending it to recognize I am Atman and Atman is part of Brahman. My nature is Sat, Chit, Ananda. I am immortal. Everything, all the knowledge is within me and bliss is part of me. Recognizing, recognizing this, one stops running in the world for happiness. That is Gnani Yoga. Karma Yoga is selfless service. Whenever we perform any activity, we have desire, selfish motive, some gain. And we look for the results. Karma Yoga is Perform your duty. We have only control over what we perform, but we have no control over consequences. So performing all our duties and surrendering fruits of our action to God is called Karma Yoga. You can turn your work into Karma Yoga, your duty as a householder into Karma Yoga. Everything done with this purpose becomes Karma Yoga. If you do as karma, you become a doer, you produce karma, you are subject to transmigration. So karma yoga is selfless service. Selfless service purifies us, expands our consciousness and we can see universality. Bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga is intense love for God. Why love for God? We love different things. Suppose you see a beautiful painting, you want to meet the artist who did it, you listen to beautiful music, you want to meet the creator who composed that music. We look all around and we see that all the creation, wonderful creation, which is beyond our capacity to, capacity to comprehend human body, the mysteries, all the things happening, everything we see. Then we have curiosity. I want to meet the maker of this. That is called bhakti or love for God. So one cultivates love for God by cultivating love for human beings, love for other beings, 
and by worshipping one can worship any deity to cultivate the love and in bhakti yoga there are nine steps to bhakti shravana kirtana smarana archanam padasevanam dasya sakya atma nivedan this way we cultivate bhakti by hearing about god singing glory of the god thinking about god and cultivating more and more love so we become purified we get the maturity and maturity is supreme love where we don't limit ourselves to worshiping our idol but we spread our love through all our interaction seeing all creation is nothing but manifestation of god all creation are part of me raj yoga is yoga of meditation one becomes in a gets in harmony with universe then gets mastery over the body mastery over the energy mastery over the mind and transcends the mind there are eight steps yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi samadhi is a state of mind where through meditation one transcend the mind and attain samadhi and in samadhi one loses identity of ego that i am and i consciousness merges into god so this is called raj yoga no person is all in the mind all in the heart or active or passive so we can combine all forms of yoga practice all these forms of yoga simultaneously then you become specialized and you follow that path but for average person one can utilize and balance all these paths gnana yoga karma yoga and bhakti yoga gnana is a knowledge is one wing bhakti is devotion another wing so the birds have two wings that way we have gnana and bhakti knowledge and devotion and action the rudder that gives momentum so we can blend gnana karma and bhakti to go on the path of liberation jai bhagwan